Welcome one more time students, I'm really really happy to see you here. Today we have something new, I'm going to show you now your classroom presentation tool. Let's start, let's start with the class, let's start with the lesson for today. Okay, oh that's it, it's opening now. I'm going to uh, tell you, let's remind that we were learning about some things, the previous class, we were working on the unit number five, right? So, uh, okay, I'm gonna open this, the unit number five, one moment. Um, that's it, unit number five, right? We are here. We're talking about the free time, right? The free time, we're learning about some online habits, other for frequency, some expressions like declining help and accepting help. Then we have learned about a simple present with WH questions with two, right? Then we were learning about the online fan, right? We did this part. We finished this part, the online fan. We did, or we worked until this part, right? We finished this activity, no? Now it's time to do the activity uh, number two. I think, oh no, we finished all of this. We finished this. We did, okay, we finished work. We were working on work and play, right? We finished this part. We finished this activity that says, what does she do? We were learning about some uh, jobs, not accountant, doctor, flight attendant, etc. We finished this activity. We have to work here on the activity number two, language in context. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna open this part and let's do this now. Okay, so now I'm gonna stop the backing track music and let's start with this. Read uh, two job profiles, what are the jobs? Pay attention. Page 56, exercise two. Language in context, at work. Lucia Ortega works in a hospital from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. What does Lucia do? She's a nurse. Henry Jenkins works in an office. He's an accountant. What company does Henry work for? He works for A1 Accountants. Okay, now I have a question for you. You have to tell me, <clears throat> what is uh, Lucia's job? What does Lucia do, students? She's a teacher. She's a nurse. Very good. She's a nurse, right? Here we have the answer. She's a nurse, okay? Now, let's see about Henry Jenkins. What does he do? He's an engineer. He's a doctor. What does he do? Accountant. Very good, he's an accountant, right? Remember, accountant, contador, nurse, enfermera, okay? So now let's go to the next part. Let's go to the next part. Here, we're gonna talk about the simple present with WH question with does, okay? So pay attention here, I'm gonna play this listening now. Page 57, exercise three, grammar. Simple present WH questions with does. What does Lucia do? She's a nurse. When does she work? She works from 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Where does Henry work? He works in an office. What company does Henry work for? He works for A1 Accountants. Okay. In this part, students, we have a, a grammar. Yeah, we have a grammar that says a WH question. Vamos a, a realizar preguntas con WH, preguntas con de doble. Yeah? Dice, en el simple present, lógicamente. Yeah? Eh, ¿De qué manera voy a utilizar el WH word y el DAS para formular preguntas en tercera persona, o sea, para preguntar a qué se dedica él o a qué se dedica ella, ¿no? O, o, o tal vez alguna otra pregunta como when, 
eh, cuándo trabaja, dónde trabaja, eh, cómo se llama la compañía, etc. ¿no? For example, here, what does Lucia do? Esto es para preguntar a qué se dedica Lucia. Yo puedo preguntar what does Lucia do? What does Henry do? What does Mariana do? What does eh, Andy do? Etc. ¿no? ¿A qué se dedica? Puedes decir, she's a nurse, he's an accountant, she's a teacher, he's a doctor, etc. ¿Ya? Yeah? What? ¿A qué se dedica? What does Lucia do? When does she work? When, cuando, ¿verdad? When does she work? ¿Cuándo trabaja? ¿En qué momento? ¿En qué horario? She works from 11 to 7, ¿no? She works from 8 to 7. She works from 9 to 1, etc. ¿No? Ella trabaja desde hasta, ¿no? From 11 to 7, ¿ya? Next question. Where does Henry work? Where? ¿Dónde? Where does Henry work? ¿Dónde? Where does Henry work? ¿Dónde trabaja Henry? Where? He works in an office, ¿no? He works in a hospital. He works in a police station. He works at the market, etc. ¿Ya? You have to consider these sentences, ¿ya? Now, let's see the other part. What company does, does Henry work for? What company? ¿Para qué compañía Henry work for? Trabaja Henry, ¿no? What company does Henry work for? He works from A1 accountant, right? You can ask, for example, uh, what company, for example, uh, does uh, Lucia work for? She works at the hospital, or she works at a, a salute, or she works at a Wanukos clinic, etc. Yeah? Okay, you have to consider that. What, when, where, and what for. Yeah? Now, let's see. The next part. The next part says, complete the conversation with the correct word, uh, then practice with the partner. Yeah, let's do this. Let's work on this activity. I'm going to do something here. Um, that's it. For example, no? Here, recuerdo que tenemos que utilizar las WH words siempre. Y estas van juntas. Si ya te diste cuenta, what does, when does, where does, what company does for. Yeah? Entonces, dice aquí. What does your brother do? No, mira la respuesta. Dice Tom's a doctor, no? Occupation. Now, really? Mira, dice aquí. He works in a hospital. ¿Cuál será the question in this part? ¿Cuál será la pregunta aquí? Where does he work? Aha, very good. No? Here it says where? Where? Does he work? ¿Verdad? ¿Dónde? Where does he work? ¿No? He works in a hospital. ¿No? Number two. Does Sue? Mira the answer. Dice, on Mondays, Wednesday, and Fridays. When does Sue work? Oh, ¿no? ¿En qué momento? ¿En qué horario? ¿No? When? ¿Cuándo? When does Sue work? And the answer is on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Now, let's see. Next part says, and what do you think? What company? company? Mm -hmm. What company? What else? ¿Qué más? Does the she? Earth. He work. Very He good. Work. work for, ¿verdad? Work for. ¿Para qué compañía? Work for. Ella trabaja, ¿no? Work for. She works for town bank. Now, let's see. Right question about Mr. This is the next part, ¿no? Right question about Mr. Miller, Lisa, and Nicole. Then ask an answer. Yeah, here we have. The question, what does Mr. Miller do, right? For example, what does Mr. Miller do? He is an English teacher, right? He, you have here Mr. Miller is talking, is in a classroom. I do, he does, she does, right? Now, what do you think should be the next question? 
Where does Mr. Miller work? Very good. Where does Mr. Miller work? O también podrías decir, where does he work? ¿Verdad? Porque estamos hablando de él, de Mr. Miller. Where does he work? Okay. And now, where does he work? What should be the answer? ¿Cuál será el answer para esta respuesta? Where does he work? What do you think? What's the answer? Where does he work? He works at a hospital? He, he works in a, in a school. Oh, very good. No, where does he work for? He works in a school or he works at the school, right? This should be the answer. Now, let's see. I have another question. Now the next question for the next part. It says, we have here Lisa and we have here the question with what? What should be the question here? What does Lisa do? Very good. No, what does Lisa do? Okay, answer the question. What does Lisa do? When does she work? No, but let's answer the question. Respond, vamos a responder first this. What does Lisa do? She's a what? She's a what? She's a waitress. That's right, no? She's a waitress. And now the next question. What's the next question? When? Do she work? Excellent. When does she work? Right? In qué momento ella trabaja? When does she work? Let's answer the question. When? When does she work? When does she work, students? She works from three o'clock to nine o'clock. Very good, no? She works, no? She works from three o'clock to nine o'clock. Very good. Now let's see the next part. We have this, uh, where? Okay, let's see. Here we are gonna talk about Nicole. Okay, here we, we are gonna talk about Nicole. Where does Nicole work? Mm -hmm. Okay, where does Nicole work, right? Where does Nicole work? That's it, where does Nicole work? Now, what? What do you think is the answer? Let's answer this question. Respondamos esta pregunta. Where does Nicole work? Hmm? She works at a school. She works at a restaurant. She works at the park. Where does she work? Hmm? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Where does she work? She works at the school? She works at the hospital? She works at the restaurant? What do you think? Where does she work for? She works in the uh, office. Very good. She works in an office, right? This is an office star computers right now what do you think is the next question what company 
Well, what company does she work for? Very good. Does she work for? Right? What company does she work for? What company does Nicole work for, students? Mm -hmm. She works for Star Computers. Very good. This is the answer, no? She works for Star Computers. That's the name of the company. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now you have the answers on this part. Yeah? So let's continue now, students. Let's go to the next part. And we have here, oh... The speaking part, right? I'm going to erase this. I'm going to erase the board. Yeah, here we have a speaking. Yeah, people's job. Activity for speaking, people's job. Class activity, add two jobs uh, to the chart. Then find classmates who uh, know uh, people with those jobs, no? Ask for more information. For example, we have here job, no? Chef, nurse, police officer, taxi driver. Tell me more jobs. What can we add here? Mm -hmm. Doctor, doctor. Okay, doctor. What else? What else? Pilot. Okay, doctor, here we have pilot. Great. Now, here we have, no? Um, now we have to talk about here, no? Then find a classmate who know people with those jobs. Ask for more information. Do you know a chef? Ustedes, alguno de ustedes conoce algún chef? No, no one. Who knows a chef? Do you know a person who's a chef? Alguno de ustedes conoce una persona que sea chef? Hmm? Nobody? Well, I know, I know uh uh a person, yeah, I'm gonna write my name because I know a person, yeah? Uh, who's the chef? Who's the chef? The, the chef is a friend of mine. His name is Christian, yeah? Christian, no? Extra information. Uh, he works at Escena. My friend Christian work at Escena. He's a chef. Okay. Now, does any one of you know a nurse? Who knows a nurse? Alguno de ustedes conoce una nurse? Yes. Yes, Andy. Okay, I'm gonna write here Andy's name because Andy knows a nurse. Who's that person? Who's the nurse, Andy? Quién es esa person que es nurse? Hmm? Your, your aunt. Oh, very good. Your aunt. What's the name of your aunt? ¿Cómo se llama tu aunt? Andy, what's her name? ¿Cómo se llama tu aunt? And your aunt case nurse. Hmm? Yeah, Maria, teacher. Maria, very good, Maria. And where does your aunt work? Donde trabaja tu aunt Maria? And in Huanuco, in Dos de Mayo, in Lima, Huancayo, where does she work? Okay, she works in, for example, Wanuko, right? She works in Wanuko. 
Okay, great. Thank you very much, Andy. Now, let's talk about a police officer. Okay, who knows a police officer? Teacher. Melina. Okay, Melina. Tell me, who's that, that person? Who is a police officer? Aunt. Who? My aunt. Oh, your aunt. What is her name? Her name is Alexandra. Alexandra, very good. Okay, now tell me, where does she work? She works in, is in Guanuco. Okay, very good. She works in Guanuco. That's great. Excellent. Thank you very much, Melina. That's correct. Now, tell me, who knows a taxi driver? Do you know a taxi driver? No, you don't know? Who knows a taxi driver? No one? Well, I think I know a taxi driver. Okay, who's the taxi driver? My friend. My friend. Oh, I'm gonna write here friend, just friend. Okay. And his name is Osvaldo, okay? Now, uh, well, where does he work? He works outside. You know what is outside? Fuera, ¿verdad? Inside, dentro. Una oficina, un hospital, etc. Outside, fuera, on the street, en las calles, right? He works outside. Now let's talk about someone else. Now we have here uh, the doctor and the pilot. You tell me, who knows a doctor? Moonlight. Me, teacher. Okay, Moonlight. I'm going to write here. Okay, who's, who's a doctor, Moonlight? What's the name? Uh, my father. Mm -hmm. His name is Walter. Okay, great. I'm going to do this. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Now, Moonlight, tell me, where does he work? He works at a clinic. He works at a hospital. Where does he work? He works in the clinic of Wanoko. Oh, yeah. What company does he work for? He works for Wanoko's clinic, right? Okay, that's it. Thank you very much, Moonlight. Now, who knows a pilot? Do you know a pilot? Yes? No? Yeah. Well, I don't know a pilot either. You tampoco conozco ningún pilot. So we are going to skip this information, okay? Yeah? Well, let's see. Uh, now here we have, no, do you know a chef? Yes, my friend Marco is a chef. Where does he work? He works at the Speedy Sushi, right? Now, well, this is the information that we can consider on this part, yeah? Okay, great, excellent. Do you know now this information? Okay, now I think we must continue, right? We must continue. I'm going to erase all of this and let's go to the workbook part. Vamos a ir a nuestro workbook now. Oh, but first, but first, first, I, I have to, I have to do something. This is the unit number six. Okay, we're working on the unit number six. The next class, while we finish this, we're going to work on the page number 58. Mm -hmm page number 58. Now let's go to the workbook. Workbook. Mm, well, we need to work on the page number 
31, the activity six. Let's do this. I think we must on this part. Oh yeah, that's it, no? Mm -hmm. We finish until this part, right? Terminamos the activity number six. Oh yeah, nos falta la activity number six, no? Terminamos hasta la activity number five. Ustedes ya tienen aquí the questions, right? Así que vamos a poner aquí. Ahí están the questions. Ahí están las preguntas, right? And now we have to do something here. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. It says answer the questions from exercise five. Correct information when... Uh, the answer is no. Use the words in parentheses. For example, listen, no? Uh, no, the question is, does Andy study on weekend? The answer is no, he doesn't. He studies on Monday. Now, number two, what's the question? Do they eat breakfast every day? ¿Cuál será el answer? Number two, they say yes. They Very good, ¿no? Te preguntan con day, respondes con day. Yes, day. ¿Qué they más? Excelente. Preguntan con do, respondes con do. Yes, they do. Number three. The question number three is, does his sister go to work at eight? What's the answer? No, she doesn't. Very good, ¿no? No. She doesn't. Preguntan con she, respondes con she. Preguntan con does, respondes con does. No, she doesn't. And what's the correct answer? ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta? She goes to work at 8.30. Excellent. She goes to work at 8.30. That's right, no? Where do you find that information? ¿Dónde encontramos esa información? Esa información aquí, pues, no, ahí está, 8.30. Yeah, number four. What's the question for number four? Number four says, do her grandparents drink coffee in the evening? What's the answer? Yes, they do. Excellent, in plural, grandparents, right? Yes, they do. Excellent. Now, number five. Do Liv and Martin watch TV on weekdays? What's the answer? No, they don't. Mm -hmm. Very good. No, they don't. ¿Por qué they, teacher? Porque está hablando en plural. Liv and Martin. Ellos. They. No? No, they don't. Now, what's the answer? What's the they correct? They watch TV on weekends. Excellent, no? They watch TV on weekends. That's it. That's the answer. Now, let's see. Number six. Uh, does Vanessa go to bed after midnight? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Mm -hmm. No, she doesn't, no? Estamos hablando de Vanessa, una mujer. Para hablar de mujeres utilizamos she. No, she doesn't. What's the answer? She goes to bed at 10.30. Very good. She goes to bed at 10.30. Okay. That is the answer. Now, let's see. Number seven, activity seven. Write five sentences about your weekly routine. Use the simple present forms of the verbs in the box and time expressions. Okay, we're going to write five sentences. Vamos a escribir five sentences, seis oraciones acerca de tu weekly routine. For example, no? I drink, I drink coffee every day, no? For example, what about eat dinner? ¿Cómo podríamos hacer un example con eat dinner? Oh, sorry, eat breakfast, not dinner, eat breakfast. For example, what time do you eat breakfast? Mm -hmm. I eat breakfast every morning. Okay, I eat breakfast every morning. 
at what time at what time eh, Daniela Amar at 7 o'clock at 8 o'clock at 10 o'clock what time 9 o'clock 9 o'clock yes very good no I eat breakfast at oh sorry this is important at 9 o'clock very good now what about uh, I don't know what about exercise do you exercise alguno de ustedes exercise you can make a negative sentence. También pueden hacer alguna oración negativa si ustedes no realizan esa activity. ¿Mm? What do you think? Do you exercise students? ¿Mm? Yes or no? Or you don't exercise? Mm -hmm. If you don't exercise, you can write, no, I don't exercise. No, child, you know, ejercicio, no? like the teacher Nemuel. Okay, lazy. Oh, that. well, let's continue. Next part. What about a uh, get up? What time do you get up? You know, get up. No. Oh, ah, in the morning, you get up, right? What time do you get up? Tell me, tell me an example. We get up. I get up seven or quarter o'clock. Oh, very good. I get up. At seven and a quarter, no, or seven fifteen in the morning, right? Oh dear. Pero ahora se van a levantar más temprano porque a partir de diciembre van a ir al colegio. Oh my God. Yes. Van a ir a clases presenciales. Ooh. And you're going to get up earlier, I guess, no? Okay, well, now what about next? Uh, what about go to bed? What can you tell me about go to bed? What time do you go to bed? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I go to bed at nine o'clock. Very good. I go to bed at nine o'clock, no? In the evening. Oh, excellent, Moonlight. You sleep very well. Oh, my God. You're eight hours. Excellent. And finally, uh, what about watch TV? When do you watch TV? What moment do you watch TV? Hmm? Or you can make a negative sentence too about this. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about this, about watch TV? I watch TV at uh, 4 o'clock. Okay. I watch TV at four o'clock. Excellent. Very good, Tarselli. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Those are the answers that we can consider, no? In simple present. Recuerda que utilizamos nosotros el simple present para hablar de nuestras rutinas, de lo que hacemos, en qué momento, a qué hora, qué días, no? Cuántas veces a la semana, etc. Okay. Now, let's see. I think we must continue to the next part. Did you finish this part, students? Can we continue? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, excellent. Now I think we have to continue, right? Yeah, 
let's go to the next part. Yeah, this was page number uh, 31. Let's go to page number 32 now. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. We have a lot to do here. We have a lot to do at the home, at the workbook part. Okay, let's talk about this. This is about my weekend, right? So I'm gonna erase all of this, page number 32. Here it says, my weekend. It says, read a web page, check all the ways uh, to go to each place. Mm -hmm. I think, students, I'm going to assign you this as a homework, ¿ya? Yeah? Esto de aquí les voy a dejar como homework, ¿les parece? ¿Ya? Yeah? This is page number 32, la página 32. ¿Qué vas a hacer? Vas a leer la información que tienes aquí y luego vas a poner check, ¿no? Donde, eh, mm, donde corresponda, ¿no? For example, el train, eh, sorry, el subway, for example, no va a Boston, entonces no le pongo check. El train si va a Boston, entonces le pongo check, ¿no? El bus también va hacia Boston, entonces le pongo check, ¿no? De igual manera, ¿quiénes irán a Washington, a Coney Island, a uh, Orchar Beach, ¿no? Voy a poner el check respectivo. Luego, finalmente, en la parte inferior, dice write B for Boston, W for Washington, Coney Island, or Orchard Beach, ¿no? Vas a poner aquí, dice, the trains are at Penn Station, ¿no? ¿Quiénes? Los de Boston and the Washington, ¿verdad? Ahora dice, the number six subway goes there. Ok, the number six subway. ¿Quiénes son esos number six subway que van hasta ahí? Boston, Washington, Coney Island, Ocker Beach, ¿ya? Vas a elegir. En este caso tienes una opción, ¿no? Solamente alguno de ellos. Puede ser Boston, Washington DC, Coney Island, o Ocar Beach, ¿ya? Entonces, eso lo van a hacer ustedes como homework. Esta actividad de aquí, la siguiente, también les voy a dejar como homework. Free time, online habits, ¿ya? Esto básicamente es el vocabulary, el vocabulario. ¿De dónde van a sacar este vocabulary? Este vocabulario de aquí, de la unit number five. Aquí está, online habits, ¿se acuerdan? De los online habits. Use social media, ¿no? Esto es de unit number five, por si acaso. ¿eh? The unit number five, de la unidad number five, ¿no? Use social media, check email, etc. Ya, van a guiarse de ahí para poder desarrollar esta actividad. Ya, online habits, ¿ya? Dice, for example, el primero, put the letters in the correct order. Vas a ordenar las letras para poder formar palabras, ¿no? Dice, e, use, out, them, use social media, ¿no? Aquí, ¿qué más será? ¿Ok? Next, eso también les va a quedar como homework. Vamos a la siguiente page que les va a quedar como homework. Eso, ¿no? Ahí está Fiorella y dice, dale, teacher, más homework. Nos está dejando muy poco. Qué facilito. Ok, Fiorella, vamos a dejar más homework entonces. Dice, number three, write the adverbs of frequency. Aquí vas a escribir los adverbs of frequency. ¿Se acuerdan? Eso también hemos estado trabajando anteriormente. Aquí, aquí, en esta unit. ¿Verdad? Aquí están los adverbs of frequency. ¿Con qué frecuencia? ¿Verdad? Se realiza algo cuando es al 100% always, cuando es nunca, never, 0%. Entonces vas a guiarte de esa página para poder trabajar esta actividad. ¿Ve? Entonces tienes aquí uh, para completar las options, always, hardly ever, etc. Y vas a completar aquí. Luego dice, put the words in the correct order to make sense. Vas a ordenar las palabras para poder formar oraciones, ¿no? En este caso dice, Robin always walks to school. No te olvides, esto es muy importante, ¿no? El, el adverbio frequency, el adverbio de frecuencia siempre va a ir antes del verbo, ¿no? ¿Se acuerdan lo que explicábamos esto aquí en esta clase? ¿No? Dice, eh, I always shop, usually shop, etc. O sea, siempre tiene este orden, ¿ve? Sujeto, el adverbio de frecuencia y luego el verbo. Y luego, finalmente, el complemento. Pues, ¿no? Entonces, te vas a guiar eso. Y cuando son preguntas, do you ever shop? ¿Te das cuenta? Vas a utilizar ese orden, te vas a guiar de ese orden para formar aquí las, eh, 
la, las oraciones o las preguntas, ¿no? Dependiendo de lo que te pida, ¿ya? Finalmente dice, read the answers, vas a leer las respuestas, ¿ok? Vas a leer las respuestas que tienes aquí, ¿ya? Y vas a formar, ¿no? Las, eh, las preguntas con ever. Por ejemplo, dice, yes, she usually checks emails in class. Entonces, la pregunta va a ser acerca de check emails, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cuál será la pregunta? Does she ever check email in class? ¿Eh? Lees la respuesta y formulas la pregunta. Aquí dice, no, he never gets up early. ¿Cómo será la pregunta? ¿No? Does he ever, recuerdo todas las preguntas, para todas las preguntas utilizamos does she ever o does he ever, ¿no? Entonces diremos, does he ever get up early? ¿No? Entonces, no te olvides. Recuerda que en pregunta se anula la S, ¿verdad? En pregunta no digo gets up early, sino get up, ¿no? En la respuesta digo checks email, pero en la pregunta check email. Ya, entonces te vas a guiar para poder desarrollar o resolver este ejercicio. Ya, this is page number 34, que también les estoy dejando como homework. Ahora vamos a la siguiente, ¿ya? La siguiente también les dejo como homework, students. Fiorella dice yes, ¿ah? ¿eh? Ok, ya, yeah, bueno. Entonces, la siguiente, no, eso lo vamos a hacer juntos, ¿ya? Dice aquí, look at Pam's answers the quiz, then answer the question. Ya, eso lo vamos a hacer juntos. Las tres páginas nada más que les he mencionado, les voy a dejar como tarea. Porque están facilitas, pues, esas están recontra fáciles, ¿ya? Lo van a hacer al toque. Vamos aquí. Dice, are you addicted to the internet? Ok, let's work here, ¿no? Dice, how often do you, for example, for example, ¿no? Look at... Tenemos aquí las respuestas de Pam, ¿no? Pam, this is Pam's answer, ¿no? For example, post, have you, how often do you post photos online? ¿Qué tan frecuente Pamela o Pam, sorry, realiza esta actividad? Dice, sometimes, ¿no? How often do you watch videos? Never. How often do you use, uh, do you use social media? Often, ¿no? How often do you check emails? Often. How often do you shop online? Hardly ever. How often do you play games online? Never. Entonces, con esta información que tenemos de Pam, vamos a completar. Ok. Dice, la primera. Does Pam ever post office, oh, sorry, post photos online? ¿No? Does Pam ever? ¿Y qué vamos a poner aquí? Yes, ¿verdad? ¿Con qué frecuencia? Sometimes. She sometimes does. Ahora vamos a la siguiente. Does she ever, estamos hablando de Pam, ¿no? Does she ever watch videos? Vemos aquí. Does she ever watch videos? Yes or no? No. Entonces diremos, no, coma, she, ¿qué más? She often, she always, she never? Never. Ok, she never does it. Ella nunca lo hace, right? She never does it. Next, vamos al siguiente, dice, Does she ever use social media? Does she ever use social media? Miremos el number three. ¿Qué dice? ¿Mm? ¿Qué dice el number three? Yes. Yes. ¿No? How often? How often? She. Vamos. ¿Cómo responderemos? She often. Very good. ¿No? She often. Does it. Para todo vamos a utilizar does it, porque does it es como decir lo hace, ¿no? O she often does, ¿no? Como el anterior. She often, o she sometimes does. Yes, she often does. O no, she never does. O does it, cualquiera de los dos. No problem, ¿ya? Luego el siguiente dice, does she ever check emails? Yes or no? ¿Mm? Yes. Yes, right? ¿Y cuál es el answer? ¿Qué más diremos? She often does. She often does. Very good. Now, what about number five? Number five. Does she ever shop online? Yes or no? Yes. Pero dice aquí hardly ever. ¿Se acuerdan qué cosa era hardly ever? Es como decir casi nunca, ¿no? Entonces, does she ever shop online? Yes or no? No. no, right? No. no. Entonces, ¿cuál será el answer? She. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más diré? 
quiebra. She. What do you think? Vamos, vamos, students. Tell me the answer. She hardly ever. Yes, she hardly ever. No, ya casi nunca. She hardly ever does. Okay. What about number six? Does she play games online? No. No, right? ¿Qué diría aquí? She never does. She never. Yes, she never does or she never does it. Okay, that's all. Well, students, we must stop on this part. I just want to say thank you very much. See you the next class. La siguiente clase vamos a continuar. That's all, students. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you the next class. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, teacher. Bye, students. Goodbye, teacher. Bye, Melina. Bye.